got here. Any place in here? Were you guys at the NFR? No, our parents were, though. Yeah. Oh, you were down there? <laughs> we watched it, though. Nice. Was it a good trip? Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Is it, you want me to sign it on the top or underneath or what? Yeah. Underneath, okay. Good thing we said that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. Anytime. Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. What'd you end up doing on your free time today? Uh, I went to Cabela's and we went to Shields. Got my little bit of Christmas shopping done. Yeah. Embarrassed to say, I got that wrapped up. I mean, it's good I got it done. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve, so. But I got it done. Good to go, guys. Thank you. Always in your channel. barren waste without the taste of water cool water old Ann and I with throats burnt dry and souls that cry hey Dan mom how you doing good to see I grew up in a rodeo family my mom and dad both rodeoed my dad rode bareback horses professionally and he retired in 98. And uh, that was the summer I turned old enough to start going to youth rodeos. We put him on a horse when he's nine years old, which looking back, that was maybe a little early. <laughs> we probably should have waited a year or two. We put him on one and he got ejected off. He went about nine feet in the air and then popped down on his feet and Got to put a smile on his face. Give that guy a hand, old Tanner, nine years old. We laugh so hard when people say he's famous because we're just like, that's, it's funny. Yeah, it's just funny. I, we don't see him as famous, but I don't think he sees himself as famous either. I mean, he's cool. We think he's cool too, but yeah, it's just always been our brother. <laughs> I have a complex about riding a horse because my sisters always make fun of me about it. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Are you not good at it? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I ride fine, but. Well, what part did they make fun of? It's chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Tanner. Looking pretty good right there. Whoa! Tanner, we need to work on the get off, buddy. Oh, our kids are, well, maybe going to mind the bus tonight. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, Roland was pretty excited about it. And now we've seen. Well, yesterday I was like, buddy, we're here to ride a sheep tomorrow. Yeah. And so he's like, yeah, when I'm big tomorrow, <laughs> when I'm big like you tomorrow, I'm going to ride a sheep. And then today Lonnie asked him, and he's like, tomorrow. Yeah. Ride a sheep tomorrow. And tonight will be Rowan's first night doing the mutton busting, which is the sheep riding. And so are you excited about that? You get to ride a sheep tonight? What are you going to do? Tight. You're gonna hold on tight. Yep. Got a trophy on the lines. Nice ride, Rowan. Tanner Oz, all these people out here for Rowan tonight. That's it. It's time I'm gonna do what Daddy does to ride on the horse. Like this. this, this do this yep. and then shake my head. Yep. And now let's get to spurring. There you go. Wow. That's how you do it. Should we put Ember on there? Uh, 
Sure. Okay. She can go in the middle. Oh, you want to ride with her? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> Look at you, Envy! Yeah! You're so big! Yeah! <laughs> 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 We're here at my home in New London. This is where I practice, train, think about riding bucking horses, even though I'm kind of far from probably the closest one. That was actually another thing I spent some dumb money on after I, because they gave me that Ranger, but like it didn't have a cab or a winch or bumpers or nothing on it. And it felt like I was going to be rich forever. And I just got this wheeler. So I went in the dealership and I was like, need one of them, need one of them, need one of them. This is my Link Weaver Juice Hog. It's a bucking machine specifically designed for horse riders, uh, saddle bronc riders, bareback riders. They love them. There's five speeds, it's an electric motor, great tool for practice, and we're about to drag it out right now. What's on top of it? That is an infant car seat on top of it. <laughs> for beginner riders. Yeah, for the, that's very bottom level. First gear, car seat, whoever wants to try it. I usually start off in three and then graduate to four and if you guys bring somebody here they can ride it in five I'll give you a hundred bucks <laughs> Good. it's just a little bit unrealistic there's definitely horses that are that strong and there's horses that are really rapid as they buck like them ones I was talking about that maybe take 16 jumps in eight seconds but there's no horse in the world that's that strong and that fast. It defies gravity the way it... Lonnie kind of lets me decorate the house with a lot of my things that aren't really, you know, conventional decorations. But and this is a picture of me on a horse called Dirty Rags. So that was in the short round of Cheyenne the year I won it, 2015. And then this is a picture of my dad in Cheyenne from 1988. And this hung in our house growing up forever. But once I got this, I got gifted this, so I keep them together. Me at the dad, dad at the dad. Tanner won the high school rodeo three times in the bareback riding. He went to the college finals four years in a row and was a national champion there. <laughs> I don't know why I do this every time I talk about my son. Giving you a little behind the shoots tour here. They check the animal pens every day to make sure that our animals are healthy and safe. They have fresh water and food at all times in front of them. They only work eight seconds and then they go back out to pasture. And now, here you are in the largest outdoor rodeo arena in the world. Cheyenne Frontier Days is the daddy of them all. It is make or break time for cowboys at this time of season. What's up, Cole? Dude, you have a camera. Yeah. Big diamonds looking good. Hi. Hey, good job in Salt Lake. Hey, Layton. How are you? Yes. How are you? Really good. How many cameras do you need? 
This is a Tanner I'll show. Well, at least do. three. <laughs> it's going that way? All right. What's up, Tanner? How's it going? Yeah, Cheyenne is a great gathering. It's kind of home base for a lot of guys for a while because, you know, there's rodeos going on in Colorado and Nebraska, South Dakota this weekend. You know, everyone's just basically hanging out, loving life. Yeah. Two thousand fifteen, that's too long ago. Of course it's the only seat in the sunshine too. I don't think I'm gonna sit there. I've been here when it's hot and I've been here when it's muddy. I've never seen it like that, but I'm thinking they're gonna get it fixed up here before. We gotta go. Yeah, you gotta be able to turn your toes off. Nah, I'm probably a little naturally duck-footed anyway, so that helps. I didn't win. Uh -huh. I didn't even actually get close. You just wanted to share, right? Uh, no. <laughs> no, that was not my game plan. What you guys saw was my whole Cheyenne right there, that's it. Yeah, it was just a lot of work to get to that point, to hit the ground and hear your score and, and realize it's not enough. Yeah, I get frustrated but also I had another chance. Even that later that day was at another rodeo. That's the thing, you cannot dwell on the, on the failures and the faults because you gotta pack away the negativity in your gear bag and it's on to the next one. You have Ot 70 Rustler. In rodeo, you've heard the expression, the luck of the draw, and that's you enter the rodeo and they, they pluck a horse out for you. You know that horse, don't you? Been on him? No. Like, she's not gonna- You show up, it, but... try him, and most of the time when you got the right horse, you can expect to win her place. That's what we look forward to. Okay, man. Okay. See you, Kyle. See you, buddy. Good luck. Okay, see ya. Hey, is this mine? This came up. That's a sealer. Benzoin's in the car. Oh, not mine. Good, I'll feel a lot better. Once I get in the truck, crank that AC. Which way can I go? Probably forward. Oh, that's it? Oh, we're off to a great start here. I entered 98 rodeos. I went to most of them. I definitely got on over 100 horses because some of them rodeos are three headers. Every year that goes by, I fly a little bit more because it affords me a little more time with my family. So 
if you put the the air miles and the the truck miles together, I'm sure it was over a hundred thousand miles. It's quite a bit. Rodeo is so much fun, and and there's a lot of positives, but it can be stressful just in regards of trying to figure out your life, like on a Monday, what what it's going to look like for the rest of the week. I think it's hard on him. He has like little kids right now, and I'm sure he feels like he's missing out a lot, but. Yeah. Rolling down our 40 on a nickel and dime Nowhere to go in a hurry, yeah, I'm feeling all right Blue skies That was lefty in that pickup. Thought he had a different rate. It was fairly tight, and from Cheyenne to Eagle that night, I was going to be happy to get that second one done and out of the way and relax and hopefully it went good. It didn't. Horse turns out backwards. Well, that's an automatic rewrite. Let me have you think you have to get on another horse a little bit later on. And I draw another young horse, and this horse has been just bucking hard, but has a hard time staying on his feet in the trips that I've seen. The wild thing is the fucking horse. As soon as he gets off the gate, I'll be there. That thing will give you a little rope. And she bails out of there and slips and falls down. Re-ride. Okay, now we're going on horse number four for the day. <laughs> perfectly the bareback horse for the shape I was in at the time. And they liked it, I think I was 85 and a half and ended up placing there getting a good check, so. Today in Cheyenne, when I got done, you know, I was 79. I would have given anything for an option for a re-ride, you know? 
if they keep letting you try, you just keep going because see what happens. You know, I was 74, then I was zero, and then now I'm leading it. And me and Kyle are sitting first and second right now. Yeah, four horses in a day. Is, it doesn't sound like a lot in the morning, but by now it's like, yeah, that was kind of a lot. Beauty. You got it, cowboy? Yeah, I got her. Nice. When I met my wife, she knew I was a rodeo cowboy. You know, we kind of had an agreement. This is what I do. This is what you're signed up for. This is, you know, I packed her along with me to a few rodeos whenever I could. And it was like, hey, I'm going to do this for as long as I can. She supported me from the get go. She understands it. And we still check in and have that conversation now because life has changed so much. You know, we got three kids and being a dad is first and foremost for me. Hi, honey. You left. You left. What are you still doing awake? Huh? You left and I thought it was okay. Crystal, guess what? I'm gonna be home on Sunday. What I play when dad's away. <laughs> cowboy, cowboy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dad left on a Monday to go rodeo. I started to miss him and wish he was home. I figured if I played, I wouldn't miss him as much. So I ran to my bedroom to get- My kids are probably the least understanding of it, but they sure are happy to see me when I get home and, and I miss them like heck when I'm gone. And I hope that, you know, when, when they look back on it someday, they won't think that you know, dad was just gone all the time, but. I think I need to get a drink. set up we rodeo from October 1st right through the last day of September the top 15 guys in the standings go out to Vegas and they get on 10 nights in a row and then they add all the money from the regular season and the national finals together and that is who wins the, the world title did you know what daddy got in the money tonight that means he won a little money for us my kids love it. I'm lucky to have the support of my family. The support that I've had and the ability that I've been blessed with has, has carried me to where I am. We're ready to go. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, that's 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 Great little horse should go out there kind of around to the left. Lots of kick, lots of time. Lots of How are you feeling? I am tired, but is... I'm happy. It's a good day. Yeah, this is great. Round, we're still doing round seven? Round seven. You did six and seven today. It's a, it's a Wednesday. So Tanner won the round this morning. Whoop, whoop. That was exciting. And now we are back for the night performance.
We're so silly. We're having the best time. We're crazy. Woo -hoo. I was the oldest bareback rider there this year, that's true. Uh, by how much? Just by a year. But how did it make me feel? Fine. Because I left there healthy and it was, it was good. A goal I set for myself long ago, after I had made the NFR, I said I wanted to go to 10. I missed the NFR in 2018. Now I've made eight at 33. If I make two more, that'll be a goal I can cross off. I grew up following my dad at rodeos, watching him ride, and my mom for that matter. I have good memories of it, and I have, you know, pictures in my head of them nodding their head and doing the deal. I want to do this for long enough that my kids remember it. As long as I'm healthy and competitive, I'm going to do it for as long as I can. You know, riding bareback courses isn't something you can circle back to later on. You know, when it's when it's done, it's done. It's not real comfortable to talk about, I guess. I don't know. There's a lot of unknowns. I've done this for so long. You know, I freaking, I started when I was nine. And this is all I've done and all I've wanted to do. So I've been very blessed that way. I definitely get the most out of rodeo, have the most success when I pour everything I have into it. And so that's always been my philosophy and still is. These are the moments that define us. Do we run or do we rise up? We take it everything we feel and blow it through the ceiling. Oh, oh, oh. This is the story they remember. No peace, no surrender. You can't kill a legend. Legends never die. So we were just over in this green room because it was the quietest place here. A bunch of people bust in the room. Shh, we're doing an interview and I'm like, let's wreck this kid. Here they come. This program is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.